Hey guys, so the video I posted yesterday, if you saw it, just asking for requests. I know those videos are really boring to watch, but I don't know, I got a bunch of requests, and one of the ones I saw a lot was Out for the Days, which I just filmed, or not Out for the Days, Out for the Weeks, which I started to film, because I don't know, I really like fashion videos, and it was really easy to film, because I think I'm just going to film it without talking, and then edit it all together, and it'll just be a wonderful video. Another one I saw that I was getting a lot was products that I've hit pan on, and if you don't know what that means, because my mom had no idea what I was talking about. Um, see this blush, for example? See how you can see the tin on it? I've hit the pan. If you ever hear makeup people on YouTube going, I hit pan on this, like, that's what they're talking about. So, I guess I'll just show them all to you. They're basically my most used products, obviously. This is the first one. I just showed you this blush. It's my favorite blush of all time. And it's in the color Rose, and it's by Lorac. And I've never heard anyone talk about this before, which... I don't know why, because it's like the best blush ever in my opinion. It's a basic pink color and it's really flattering on, I guess, everyone that I've tried it on. I've never seen someone not like this blush once it's on them. I don't know. It's a really, really flattering color and I don't think it was that expensive either. And it's lasted a fairly long time. I got this, I think, a year and a half ago, give or take. Ballpark range idea. Strong and steady. I don't know if this counts, but it's called Hope in a Jar and it's a moisturizer. It's not really a pan, so I don't know if I can hit the pan on it. There's no pan, but whatever. And it's just a moisturizer. I use this in my How to Clear Up Acne on Sensitive Skin. Because you saw that video, and you saw this moisturizer. I've been going back and forth between this one and this other one called CeraVe. And I used this before I got the CeraVe. I think they're equally as good. This The CeraVe is a little bit less watery. I feel like this is a more like liquidy consistency. This is what the moisturizer looks like if I hadn't shown it before. It's your classic standard moisturizer. But like I was saying before, the CeraVe and this one I feel like are equally as good. Um, it's just this one's a little bit more expensive and I run out of the CeraVe one a little bit faster. I've gone through like three CeraVe ones whereas I've only, I haven't even finished one of these. But the price is a little bit different but the quality is the same. So I was going to say originally like quality over quantity like you can choose but they're the same quality so... I don't know. I really like them both. I re highly recommend this moisturizer. But I also highly recommend the CeraVe one because it's so good. CeraVe PM. Guys, go get that one. Next two are the same thing. They're both Clinique gel eyeliners. And they're, they're really gross. I've had these since, like, debatably 7th grade. And I'm in 10th grade now. I gotta toss these out. I need to go and throw away a lot of makeup. When I was getting ready for this video and grabbing all the products, I was like, God, I've had that since like sixth grade and I still use it sometimes. This one was my favorite eyeliner ever back in like seventh or eighth grade and it's just in the color deep brown. It's basically empty. And the same one, or same brand, just different color. It's a gray color, it's called Smoke Gray. This looks like that. Fancy stuff, right? You're really getting a good look. Next thing is this powder. This is I've had two of these. I'm on my second one right now, but this one was empty, so I was like, I'll show it because technically I've hit pan on it because um, I finished the whole thing. It's just a MAC powder. It's a mineralized skin finish natural. It's in the color medium or medium plus. I'm not sure if that's the same thing. It's the only powder I've ever used, except for I got this Lancome one, but I lost it. And it was like a mineralized one, and I really like that, but I don't know where it is. Next thing is probably my favorite powder of all times, but I'm too pale for it now. It's called Hoola by Benefit. And it's really matte, which is what I like. This is the color I get in the summertime. I get really tan really quickly, and I lose my tan also very quickly. So this is nowhere near my skin anymore. But if you look at my videos, like, I'm trying to think. Like, my Project 10 Pan one, I remember that because I was wearing, like, a yellow shirt, and it, I guess it, like, made my tan pop. And a lot of people are coming to, like commenting and they're like, oh my gosh, you're so tan. And that's, now I'm like looking at myself. I'm like, I don't even look like the same person. I really like this though, just because I can use it as a powder in the summer and a bronzer in the winter. So it's an all year round product. Next one is this pomegranate lip butter, which I feel like I've seen a lot on YouTube. It's really popular. Uh, I hit the pan on it. I use this a lot over the summertime. I don't really use it that much anymore. I put a little bit on for this video. So I don't think it really complements my skin right now. I feel like it looks better if you have tanner skin. I feel like everything looks better when you're tan. Admit it, summertime you just feel prettier. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. I'm <laughs> not saying that pale people are ugly, but I just... I feel more confident when I'm tan. Oh, I didn't even explain this. This is by Kors. 
which it doesn't say anywhere on here. I don't know how long I got this, but I know that they still sell it. I'm pretty sure they still still pretty sure they still sell all of these. I don't know about these two though, but I just remember this being an awesome gel liner. So if you're looking for a really good gel eyeliner, check these out. And if you're looking for a good blush, oh my god, get this one. If you're looking for a good bronzer, get this one. I know I just basically went over all the products, but they're ones that I'm probably gonna repurchase. This is okay. I'm pretty sure they don't sell it anymore. This is really good. I wore this at the beginning of the school year. I got this like super long time ago. I want to say 8th grade. Um, it's the Revlon Beyond Naturals in peach. I think they're really pretty colors. They ran out fairly quickly. I don't know. They're nice. They were cheap. Next thing, I don't know if this counts because technically it broke, but I've used so much of it that like the ending part broke off. But if you can see that I've actually used a lot of that eyeshadow, that's kind of how it all looked. It actually broke during a tutorial. Like one of the two tutorials, makeup tutorials I have on my channel. I don't do them because I don't change up my makeup that often. I've never been one of those type of people on YouTube to be like, here's my ocean tutorial. I don't know. Because I would never actually wear that. And unless I'm wearing it to a special occasion, I would, I don't know. I don't know. I'm more into fashion. Anyway, back to my original subject. This color broke during that tutorial and I like it a lot. And I'm almost out of it. It's a really good inner corner color. But I also use this color. Oh, this is a MAC. I'm not saying the names. This is a really screwy video. It's by MAC. And it was from their forecast collection, which is... I don't know how I remember that because I don't know any of the MAC collections. Next one. Favorite eyeshadow by MAC. All time. No doubt. No question about it. Dazzleite. Best inner corner color. If you want to highlight right here this one. You will not be disappointed. Unless you don't want it shimmery, then don't get this one. Here's a swatch. I have not swatched any of these. Do you guys want swatches? It's okay. And I got this at Benefit. I got this last year. Out of everybody here. Um, and it was a good concealer. It's a little bit heavy now because I don't really wear that much face makeup. I just take those Garnier eye rollers. You know what it is? I put it under my eyes and I make a triangle and then it covers my scars so it just kind of works as concealer for that too and I just put powder on top and that's it that's all I really need to do so I haven't found much use for this anymore but if you have any like tough zits to cover use this except for it is kind of cakey you got to be careful with that and make sure okay sound kind of gross but make sure it's a smooth pimple like it's not all crusty like you didn't pop it or anything because I cannot stand when there's girls who like pop their pimples and they're all crusty but they still put concealer over top and it's like that's not doing anything that's making it worse oh that's bummer that was a quick video and it wasn't that good oh my gosh that's a bad video i'm so picky about my videos but you know what i'm gonna upload it anyway because i'm sick of not uploading but these two are the eos lip balms i've done total damage i'm almost out of this one too it usually is like an egg shape but uh I'm almost done with that. Do you have any questions on any of these products you want to comment down below and I will answer them. You know what it is? I should have put my hair up and worn the sweater for the video. That's what was wrong. Oh my goodness. Why did I not put this on? <sighs> this is the sweater I wore. You'll see it in an outfit of the week. And then I should have put my hair up. That's what it is. I needed my hair up for this video. That's why this video is not good. So I did not have my hair up. Better. Except for it's the end of the video. That's okay. I'll get you in a ponytail next time. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> this is so weird.